Hello everyone, this is the Panda Photographer from 646studios.com and welcome to the channel today. Today I want to show you a quick tutorial on how to tether your Sony cameras to Lightroom. And you just need a couple of things that you need to get before we get started. So stay tuned and hopefully this will help you tether when you want to do studio portraits. Audio Jungle jungle welcome back to the channel and thank you for tuning in and supporting this channel by watching the content and if you want to support the channel more I would like for you to actually hit the subscribe button to actually watch for more content that I will present later on in the future and also hit the like button also visit my website at 646studios.com where you can watch and you can donate to my cause to help me to make more content videos like this on YouTube. But other than that, let's try to work and find out how I can help you tether your Sony cameras to Lightroom. The first thing you need to do is go to the website, to the Sony website, and as you can see here, I'm already on the Sony website, and you can see that I already have a selection of my camera as an example so you choose based on your camera's uh, model and what you want to do is actually go to download drivers and softwares and once you want to download dri drivers and softwares choose the operation system that is right for you so you may be using windows 8 windows 7 or windows 10 64 bit windows 10 32 bit make sure you choose the correct operation system compatibility software now the next thing you need to do is download this particular uh, drive, uh, software which is called Remote Camera Control which is called RCC. Once you finish downloading that, you install that onto your, cam onto your computer which I'm using a PC by the way. You are going to boot this up. You're going to plug in your computer. You're going to go into your camera settings, you go to the menu, and you're going to go to, to the tool uh, selection menu tab, and you're going to choose the USB connection, and you're going to choose PC remote. Once you choose PC remote, plug, into, plug the device into the multi-function multi USB port onto your camera, then plug the other end to your computer. The next step you need to do is make sure that once you plug that up into the computer it will either prompt you to a screen or it won't or this will automatically show up so to demonstrate how this does work I'm going to unplug this really quickly and it's already in PC remote for my A7R and it's gonna ask you this screen here remote com camera control cannot detect camera confirm the camera is in property connect and click OK and the first step you need to do is do that, plug it in, my computer recognizes the camera, you press OK, and the next step you need to do is you want to make sure that you have a place where you're going to store all your photos, and the next step is to select a drive or a place and name it whatever category. For this example, I named it Tetherant. So, as you can see, tether it. And the next step you want to do is go into Lightroom. And as you can see, I already have booted this up already. But we're gonna demonstrate something really quickly for you. Now, this is optional. You can create a new category, or you can go straight down to in file, auto imports, and you go to auto import settings. And when you go to an auto import settings make sure the watch and the destinations in the same category as your RCC which is your remote camera control settings and that is where the mic uh, the Adobe Lightroom software is going to actually watch your photos come in so when you actually select those folders make sure you also enabled auto import as well you click OK then the next step you would do is start tethering startup. This is going to say start. And some of you may run into an issue. 
not seeing the photos right away. So make sure you click previous import and it's going to go directly into that folder. And once you are into the tethering folder, whatever you want to name the folder, make sure you click previous import. And it's going to directly into that folder. Now, don't worry about this because it's not detecting the camera. So to demonstrate how this does work, is I'm going to take a another picture here. I took a picture, give it a moment, and it's going to actually boot up and there you are. And that's just an example to show you guys what how it works so when you're doing studio work or you want to do studio portraits inside your studio this is how it works and this is for uh, for the sony cameras only so please be aware sony cameras only works and i'm using adobe lightroom cc so this is in november 2016 this is an update version so keep that in mind Thank you for watching guys and I hope this has helped you in the long run. So if you don't mind, once again, please don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit uh, hit up me at Instagram at the Panda Photographer. I leave all those links down below. You can go to my website to make a contrib contribute donation to help me make more videos like this to more to come. But thank you for watching and hopefully this works out. If it doesn't work out for you, please don't feel uh bothered to actually comment me in the comments down below and i'll see you guys in the next one